The officer training school is the traditional source of power in El Salvador. Already, there are dark rumors of a coup if the reforming Duarte wins. The loyalty established among brother officers here is the strongest bond in the country. It was here that El Salvador's most disturbing politician took the military's traditional role one step further. He travels by bulletproofed car behind darkened windows. He has an army of private bodyguards. He's been called a killer, a gangster, a psychopath. He may very well be El Salvador's next president. To people told their poverty is the result of war, he offers hope. Backed by many of the rich, exiled members of El Salvador's ruling class, Major Roberto Daubuisson has come from the shadows to emerge as the country's new strongman, a man whose solution to the problems of El Salvador is to liquidate the communists. At his well-organized rallies, Roberto Daubuisson has a common touch, sex appeal, and preaches a simple nationalism. But by its very success in the American-inspired democratic process, support for his Arena Party threatens to undermine the entire American policy in El Salvador. Because, according to those who know about El Salvador, Major Daubuisson is more than a politician. He's also an organizer of the death squads. The Carter administration felt so strongly about Roberto Daubuisson's death squad activities that we classified him as a terrorist. We took away his visa. We denied him entrance into the United States Embassy. We made him a pariah as far as you know, uh, ex our acceptance goes. The Reagan administration came in, rehabilitated him, issued him a visa, made him a welcome guest in the embassy. He was constantly being entertained by our high-ranking visitors. In a very real sense, the Reagan administration created Roberto Dalvison, the political leader. Uh, the people of El Salvador have yet to vote, so we don't know who's going to be president of El Salvador. But it's interesting to note that that, that person uh, has received a great number of votes from the people in El Salvador. And I'm told, in fact, that in the countryside, that person is very popular. Oh, so was Hitler. That's right. That's right. And so, was, uh, so were a number of, of, of other uh, people. So you're right. Castro is very popular, uh, we're told. Among the thousands of appalling killings carried out in El Salvador by the death squads, one stands out, the assassination of Archbishop Oscar Romero as he said mass in chapel. Romero had spoken out against injustice. He was shot through the chest. Responsibility was claimed by a notorious death squad. Oh, Roberto Davison planned and ordered the murder of Archbishop Oscar Romero. The evidence, we have eyewitness accounts of this. Uh, he is a leader of the death squads. Uh, his chief lieutenants uh, murdered, ordered the murder of the two labor advisors, Michael Hammer and Mark Perlman, and the uh, land reform chief, Rodolfo Vieira. What do you think of um, Ambassador Robert White? Es un enfermo. Aquí frustró su. Eh, su carrera diplomática, él quiso dejar un gobierno igual que el de Managua, no pudo, se frustró y entonces ahora busca una manera de dinero, cobra por dar conferencias que son mentiras. O sea, es un, en cierto aspecto le hace un gran favor al expansionismo soviético, pero fundamentalmente creo que es enfermo. The State Department say they have never received conclusive proof about Major Daubison and the death squads, but there is more evidence. According to a classified intelligence report prepared in the American Embassy in El Salvador and obtained by Panorama, 
many of the killings were inspired by a group of fabulously wealthy Salvadorian exiles in Miami. They want to bring to power, quote, a good military officer who will carry out a total limpieza or cleansing, killing three or four or five hundred thousand people, whatever it takes to get rid of the communists and their allies. The document states that they organize, fund and direct death squads through their agent, Major Roberto Dauwison. Why is it, uh, do you think, uh, Major, that your enemies say that Arena has connections with the death squads? Porque así se lo inventó un ex embajador que se llama Robert White y que si vieron el documental que declaró para la televisión canadiense dice que lo que está haciendo es para favorecer a Duarte fregándome a mí y ese es un orgullo el que se enoje conmigo White por el hecho de que fui el único que comencé con un grupo de buenos salvadoreños a denunciar la desgracia que hoy tenemos y quisiera que ustedes ahora oyeran todo lo que dije hace cuatro años y vean si es que no se ha cumplido tenemos una mayor guerrilla una gran violencia, una gran cantidad de muertos, hambre y, des y desempleo. Pero rompí el plan comunista. Entonces los comunistas se enojaron conmigo y se inventaron el nombre de Escuadrones de la Muerte. Cosa que nunca lo han probado. O sea, eso es una gran mentira. Y yo también digo que la democracia cristiana sí está unida con la guerrilla. ¿Y ustedes por qué no preguntan eso? ¿Por qué no averiguan si la democracia cristiana de verdad está unida con la guerrilla? Averigüen quién es Zamora Rivas, máximo dirigente demócrata cristiano, dirigente del FDR. Averigüen cuántos demócratas cristianos están combatiendo con la guerrilla. Averigüen que los hijos del doctor Morales Serlich son comandantes de la guerrilla. Así es que está bien que me pregunten a mí eso, pero quisiera que igualmente se lo preguntaran a ellos lo mismo. Yo no tengo nada que ver. Aquí esta gente, este es el partido Arena. Pregúntenle a ellos, a ver quién de ustedes es Escuadrón de la Muerte. A ver quién ha andado en eso. Pregúntenle a ellos. But the international press also say that repeat these allegations that Arena has connections with the death squads. Porque la prensa está manejada con una mayor tendencia izquierdista que eminentemente democrática eh, del mundo libre. Quizás por las inversiones o porque así era la propaganda que ellos querían vender. Pero sabe que la prensa es la que más daño nos ha causado a la imagen del Salvador. Creo que una vez tú dijiste, Beau, que los únicos escuadrones de la muerte que conocemos es la mentira de la prensa internacional. ¿Cuánto daño nos han hecho con esa mentira? Solo nosotros lo sabemos en carne propia. <risa>